Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome to Hero of the Kingdom. Okay, so can I just click play? Oh, I can. You'll actually be able to see my mouse cursor because this is a point and click adventure game, so. Alright, there's another sunny day on our farm, though it is quite different than yesterday. My father is leaving to see the market in the town, and I have to help him to prepare what's necessary. This acts as a tutorial, I believe. Son, come here, I need your help. Okay, then we talk to him. My father never leaves the house without his herbs. I have to go to the nearest meadow to pick some. There's some. Boom. I might actually just play this entire game using my laptop mouse. Because it's easier and it's easier to use, I'd say. There we go, we can collect some flowers or herbs. So I am quite good at picking herbs and mushrooms. I feel like I'm gifted when it comes to this. Ah, herbalist beginner. How lovely. My father never leaves the house without his herbs. I have to go to the area. Oh, right, yeah. Derp. We did it! Done. I do my best when it comes to helping my father. Life is hard considering that we live alone. My father is ready to see the town. I would love to go with him, but I, can I know I cannot. Somebody has to stay at home. Goodbye, son, and take care of our farm while I'm gone. I told my father goodbye, and his carriage moved forward. Suddenly, I was feeling quite sad as he was leaving. Well, I'm going to sp spend a pretty boring week on this empty farm. We have a quest. Evenings are so cold at this time of the year. I could prepare some dead wood for a fire. I think there's plenty of it in the dry valley. I'll take my axe from the barn, and I am ready to go. Dead wood for heating up. Alright, now that'll get the axes here. We've gained our axe. I've taken some of the tools from the barn. We got a saw, an axe, and a hammer. Yeah. Get some tools. And now we can cut down some dead wood. Ding ding. So there's that. We get five dead wood. Wow. We need ten. Hootish. Hootish. Okay, there's seven. I think I have cut enough dead wood so far. I can now keep it in my backpack. Oh. So now it says check the backpack. Yeah. It shows a bunch of stuff. There's also these here which are edible mushrooms. And you can just take them. They're located on, you know, some maps. I think they regenerate actually. No, not regenerate, respawn. Yeah, there's quite a few things like that. They have made a fire in the kiln. Oh really, there's another here. Ding ding! I think I might switch back to the mouse actually. Time for some dinner. It's getting dark, I should get some rest and restore my power. It is always... It is always pleasure to have a tasty dinner. We need fruit. There we go, we got some. Nine fruit, bloody hell. I only need two. I was tired because of the work, so I felt... I felt asleep. That was meant to be fell, quite obviously. But this is the, basically the entire game. It's morning. I feel refreshed and full of power. I would like to repair our lookout tower on the hill. Last week's storm almost completely destroyed it. Almost destroyed it completely. My bad. That's what I need the hammer for. Are there edible mushrooms? Little boar. Hello, little boar. How do you do? I'm looking around for mushrooms. I don't even know why. I don't need them. What's that? That's a tree. Okay, whatever. It won't be easy. It's seriously damaged. I will need a lot of wood. Luckily, the storm has chopped down a lot of trees. I will have enough wood if I saw it. Repair of the lookout tower. Doop doo. Oh. Oh, there's three things to cut down. I baked a bunch of wood. Wait, is it going to cut down three, two, three stacks and then a four stack? Guess we'll find out. Yeah. Saw so, 10 pieces of wood. Nice. Yeah. Repaired. What happens if I right click? Nothing. Okay, good. <laughs> it was quite a challenge to repair it. I have used all of the chopped wood. But I am really glad that the lookout tower is done. I always come here every time I am home alone and I feel lonely. Sometimes I just stand nowhere and imagine myself as a hero adventurer. I hope that my dreams will come true one day. And what do you know? 
The house is on fire. And he, ha ha ha. Oh no, I can see our farm is on fire. What's going on? I have to come home now. Wouldn't that be I have to go home? It's terrible. Our farm is completely ruined. The fire has destroyed everything. I'm carefully coming closer, hidden in the bush. I cannot believe it. Bandits. They have burned down our farm. But why? Yeah, why is a good question. The fire was still burning when the bandits left. They just disappeared and left everything on the farm. It's strange. They didn't come to rob. They've just destroyed the farm. Oh god, what am I going to do now? I should search all that... I should search all that ruins and save what can be saved. Yeah, you should. And I saved a bunch of stuff. It's not much th It's not much what has left. What the hell? I have found something to eat and a purse of gold. I can't stay here. I'll take everything I have found and I will go north to find my father. Yeah. This is the way to north and to the mountain pass. My father left just yesterday and now it's me who has to go. I hope I'll find him soon. I have to be fast. Oh, there's my edible mushrooms. Hang on. Leave the home farm. But go back. This is a way back to our farm, but it's all ruins now. Yeah, I saw edible mushrooms. I want them. There. I now have like ten, don't I? I have nine. That's a lot. That's awesome. The road through the mountain pass is buried under stones. I'll try to clear it. It is useless. I can't do it alone. I have to find another way to the north. But I can use all these fallen stones. Now we can go over here. It seems there is an old path between the rocks, but it's really full of bush. Cut it down. I'll try to cut a path in the bush. More edible mushrooms. So it's done. I have managed to pass, but my axe is ruined. It has broken as I hit a rock accidentally. Oh dear. There we go. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm actually able to eat those as I go to sleep. Maybe. The rope bridge goes over the mountain pass to the opposite side. Wouldn't that be side? Whatever. It seems like somebody has de destroyed it deliberately. One of the support ropes is cut. I will need a new rope and some skilled workers to repair it. Okay, I don't have any of those. Any of those things. I found myself in the middle of a complete, complicated task. Luckily there's always a chance to get some hint to what's best. Ah, oh, that's the hint. Should hire some workers from the quarry to help me build the bridge. Oh, with the bridge repair. These guys. Works from the quarry are willing to help with the bridge repair, but it won't be free. 18 gold is fine. This is the price for our help. Boom. Yeah, we just added two dudes to our backpack. The merchant gives me a kind of sidelong stare. I think it has been a while since he saw a stranger. He offers me a rope. That's the exa exactly the thing I need. I think the gold has helped me to win the merchant's trust. Maybe he will sell me some other stuff next time. I bartered, but now I need to rest. The small camp is probably for four workers from the quarry in case they want to get some rest. I hope it won't be a problem if I stay here for a while. I have bread. Food and some sleep can help me find some new power. Although I think it only gives you ten, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I could not sleep on the hard ground, but I, eat, but I could eat some bread at least. I feel much better now. Now I have enough. There we are. Let's pull now. Hold the rope properly. Done. It was quite difficult, but we managed to finish it. Workers return to their work in the quarry. Great, I can continue on my way. Hey, come on over here. Oh, on over. The local farmer is hiding in the bush. He is waving at me. Seems like he wants to talk to me. I started to chat with him and he told me that he had seen a group of bandits chasing a man through the mountain pass. They destroyed the road to the north and damaged the rope bridge. I have a bad feeling that the unknown man could be my father. I think I should be worried about him. 
The farmer insists that I follow him on his farm. He wants to thank me for the bridge repair. Oh yeah, more mushrooms. Hell yes! Give me those. There's no more that I've missed, is there? I don't think so. Are they going to get me food? Ooh. I entered a very cosy room. The farmer's wife set the table and offered us a delicious dinner. As I was eating, the farmer asked me about, asked me some questions about my journey. I told him about my father and about everything that has happened within the last days. My story must have touched him because he, now he insists on helping me. He wants to join me and show me the safest way to the north. I agree, of course. A man who knows the area might be we, might be useful. There we go. Gold! It's a gold mine. What a surprise. I have found some coin around a stone. It seems like somebody has hidden it. Not very well, clearly. If I manage to move this stone, I can find some more hidden coins. I need a pickaxe. You have a bloody hell. 32 for a pickaxe. It might be worth it. I mean, I don't know. It might be. Hoppa. Okay, it was. Hooray, I have found a treasure. I had a feeling that there is something under the stone. Under that stone. I got 42 gold, so I made. I made back what I lost from the pick. There's no more mushrooms, I don't think. I can't see any, anyway. On the north, to the yellow forest. Oh god, help! Help me! I can't help you either. There's a man with a bitten leg on the meadow. He says that he was attacked by wolves, but he managed to escape. He asked me for help. I could use the healing potion that would definitely help him. He says that there is an old herbalist in the west woods who can make such potion. There we go. Wait, they're not things I can take. These are mushrooms! Three of them. An old man with a long grey beard lives in this cottage. He is really strange. He talks to himself. I asked him to give me a potion made of herbs, but he grunted that he didn't have any. He silenced off for a while, and then grumbled that he needed some herbs. If I pick two baskets of herbs for the old herbalist, he will help me. Okay. Boom. There's that. Yay! Oh, I don't have enough energy, do I? Oh no, I do. I need a basket. Oh, right, never mind. I think I did it, yeah. I brought two baskets full of herbs. I saw his surprising sight when I was giving him all the herbs. He went a small back room, went to a, to a small back room, and suddenly he stood in front of me with a healing potion. Oh, I can help you. Thank you, stranger. You have saved my life. Wait, I can give you something. He pulled out some gold coin and asked me to take them with a cl clumsy move. I think that the wounded hunter feels much better, but it seems that a single potion cannot heal such bad wounds. He promised me to show me the secret place in case I get... Wait, what? In case I get him another healing potion. Sure. Can I buy anything off of you? Oh, he can sell me the potion. Anytime. Oh, with what? I have two G's. So I could get a potion, because I've got two G's. I've also got three bread. Uh, sure. I forgot it's a barter system. We don't buy everything. Boom. He is almost without pain, so he can walk now carefully. I'm curious about that secret place. It's over here. The hunter's secret place should be close to the rocky bluff. Hmm, the bush has grown pretty much since I was here. There should be a small cave in the bluff. Try to find it. I am tired. I have to take a rest before I start. I found a hunter's camp on the forest glade by the woods. Hey! I think I get ten. Ten hearts back again. Yeah! I have eaten some fresh fruit and took a nap. Nap in the tent. It was just enough to get some power. Booyah. 
After an endless, endless hour of walking in the prickly bush, I have finally found the entrance into the secret cave. Oh, there you go. Who knows what's inside this dark cave in the rocky bluff. If I want to find find it out, I will need a torch. I think that the merchant in the mountain pass should have some torches to sell. I think we're still in the tutorial phase, to be honest. Torch. Yeah, we're, I'm pretty sure we are. Boom. Wait, what? I entered the dark cave slowly. The flexious light of the torch